All right, another example of an application of modulus is a hashing function. And th what this hashing function is going to do is give us memory locations to store a bunch of records in, this, uh, in an insurance company using social security numbers. So I, I use these social security numbers in this, in this hashing function. It'll spit back out a memory location between 0 and 100 because I'm mod 101. And that's where these clients' files will be stored. I hope uh, none of these social security numbers are yours. We're not trying to steal your identity. All right, so first, what I'd like to do is, oh, and by the way, I may, I'm going to have to use a calculator, right, because these are some big, big numbers, so we don't want to waste our time with that. Um, so let's get that calculator ready. And the other thing we may use just to demonstrate or check our answers is the division algorithm, which is at the center of this whole thing, really. All right, so first, what do we have to do first? Easy enough, we have to figure out what 104578690 mod 101 is. And to do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the calculator. But really, what I'm trying to find is how can I break down one zero four five seven eight six nine zero using the division algorithm so that I get some number is multiplied by a hundred one and added to another number that'll give me. 104578690. That really does sound like somebody's social security number. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, as I said, is with a calculator. And so let me go ahead and, oh, cancel. What's going on? Cancel. There we go. I didn't want that. So what I'm going to do is divide this big ugly number, 104578690. Six nine zero by a hundred one, and I'm left with this mess, right? Okay, so the way you handle this on the calculator, I'm really interested in the remainder of this division problem. Well, the re remainder is given in 0.574. It actually probably gives me more once I get rid of um, the one o three five four three two. Aha, uh -huh, sure, it was hidden there. I would have had a rounding error. So I might even still have a rounding error. But okay, so that's the fractional part left over. That's my remainder. So to get back the actual remainder, I'm going to multiply it by 101, what I just got. And that'll give me my answer. And if you think through it, we just really have been using the division algorithm to figure this out. And I'll explain that in a second. Notice how there was a rounding error. Uh, I have to have a an integer between 0 and 100 as, as my mod, um, as my answer. And so that's going to be obviously 58. If you look at this here, I'll let you see it again if you don't believe me. Yeah, that's definitely 58 with a little bit of rounding error. OK, so we're going to move that out of the way. And what is the number that we got rid of? Well, the number we got rid of was, we subtracted off, was 103, 5, 4, Three, two, and this guy gives us the remainder, and that, sure enough, is our answer for 58. So, as I said, the really at the center of all this is the division algorithm, and I can always check my answer um, if I really want to, and I'll just check this side right here in my calculator: 101 times 1035432. This big ugly number. And if I add the remainder on, 58, I should get what I started with. Let's check. Sure enough, that's what I got. That's what I got. Okay, that's what I started with. All right, so our answer here is this particular file is going to be stored in slot 58. And, of course, we could write a computer algorithm that would take care of this in a second, but we're trying to teach you how to do it by hand. All right, so it won't take too long to do these others because they're done exactly the same way. So here we're going to start with the Social Security number. We're going to mod 101, and we're going to try to figure out what that is. Well, quickly, what we're going to do, again, 
let's think about this in terms of the division algorithm. We're talking about this number that can be broken up into this what in this way using the division algorithm. 101 times some number plus another number is going to give me that back my answer. Okay. So quickly again, I type in my original social security number for three two 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 one eight oops one eight seven divide that by a hundred one now I've got to get rid of the integer part of this solution so I'm just going to subtract off four two seven nine four two seven and I'm left with the decimal portion of the solution I multiply that by you guessed it 101 and sure enough I get 59 so what does that mean that means that I have this number four two seven nine four two seven if I multiply that by 101 I'm still not back to my original number yet I have to add 60 onto it and that's my answer up here 60 okay so this particular person's file is going to go into location 60 aha now let's keep going we don't have to check that answer but let's keep going and we don't even have to write these according to the division algorithm anymore because you guys got that okay so three seven two two zero one nine one nine mod 101 is equal to some number and what number is that well let's clear this screen three seven two two zero one nine one nine divided by a hundred one gives me this big ugly number that's three million six hundred eighty five thousand one hundred sixty seven and then an, a decimal component right so I want to subtract off the integer component I'm left with the fractional component and multiply that by 101 to figure out what what number I get as my mod and it's 52 all right so that's my answer how could you write this if you really wanted to I said I wouldn't do it but yes I'm gonna do it in red um, if you wanted to write this in terms of the division algorithm you'd say well that's three seven two two zero one nine one nine has to equal a hundred one times well there's some number here it really doesn't matter for this problem that number is the number sub we subtracted off the integer three six eight five one six seven plus fifty two and watch if you do that if you do that right side uh, of the equation you actually simplify that you get 101 times 36851167 we add 52 unless I'm a liar we should get 37220 excellent okay so last one we won't bother with the division algorithm for we'll just do it really fast so five O one three three eight seven five three mod one oh one really quick on the calculator we say five oh one three three eight seven five three divided by a hundred one take off the integer component we are left with the fractional component multiply that by 101 and so we must be getting three back as our answer so there you have the answers uh, part A's file is going to go into slot 58 part B's file is going to go to slot 60 part C's file is going to go to um, uh, into slot 52 and part D's file is going to go in slot three.